Welcome everyone. Today we delve into a fascinating book, Hash Girl Boss, written by Sofia Amoruso, the founder of Nasty Gal. This isn't just any book, it's a memoir and a self-help guide that unveils the raw and riveting journey of a rebellious young woman who transformed into a successful entrepreneur. Sofia Amoruso, the brain behind the popular fashion retailer Nasty Gal, didn't always have it easy. Her story is a testament that success doesn't come served on a silver platter. It's earned through resilience, hard work, and a never-give-up attitude. Hash Girl Boss is her story, a story of her rise, her fall, and her rise again. This book serves as a beacon of inspiration, illuminating the path for women who dare to dream big. It's packed with valuable insights, pragmatic advice, and lessons learned from Sophia's unique journey. This book chronicles Sophia's inspiring journey and provides valuable insights for women who aspire to succeed in business and life. The first chapter of Hash Girl Boss takes us to the humble beginnings of Sophia's journey, her eBay store. Sophia Amoruso didn't start her professional journey in a grand office building, but within the confines of her bedroom with her laptop, her unique sense of style, and a relentless drive to succeed. She initiated her business by selling vintage clothes on eBay, a venture that might seem small, but was the first step on her path to creating a fashion empire. Sophia's approach to business was as unique as the clothes she sold. Instead of simply listing items for sale, she infused her personality and creativity into every aspect of her business. She meticulously styled, photographed and wrote compelling descriptions for each piece of clothing, creating an immersive shopping experience for her customers. Sophia was not just selling clothes, she was curating a lifestyle and a brand. She understood that in the world of online shopping, her customers could not touch the fabric or try on the clothes. So she went the extra mile to create a virtual experience that was engaging, personal, and most importantly, successful. Her eBay store quickly gained popularity, not just for the quality of the items she sold, but for the unique shopping experience she created. The success of her eBay store was the first indication that Sophia was on to something big. She was not just a seller of vintage clothes, she was a hash girl boss in the making. Sophia's initial success on eBay laid the foundation for what would become a multi-million dollar business, Nasty Gal. Chapter 2 of Hash Girl Boss uncovers the birth of Nasty Gal, Sophia's iconic fashion brand. The journey from selling vintage clothes on eBay to launching a standalone online store wasn't a cakewalk, but Sophia's audacity and tenacity paved the way. Sophia's entrepreneurial journey began on the internet's bustling marketplace, eBay. She was a one-woman show, hunting for unique vintage pieces, photographing them and listing them online. She honed her skills in marketing and customer service, fostering a dedicated following. But Sophia yearned for more independence, more control over her business. Thus, the idea of Nasty Gal was conceived. Transitioning from eBay to a standalone site was a leap into the unknown. It was a risk, a gamble on herself. She faced several challenges from setting up the website to managing inventory, marketing and customer service. The stakes were high, but Sophia, with her fierce determination, rose to the occasion. She spent countless hours learning about website design and SEO, ensuring Nasty Gal would not only exist, but thrive. She meticulously photographed and described each item, creating a unique shopping experience for her customers. Sophia was not just selling clothes, she was selling a lifestyle, a stance, a rebellion against the ordinary. Challenges were aplenty, but Sophia's resilience saw her through. She faced each obstacle head-on, learning, adapting, and growing with every setback. She was not deterred by the naysayers or the hurdles. Instead, she used them as stepping stones to build her empire. What set Sophia apart was her approach to business. She did not conform to traditional norms. She was unapologetically herself, and this authenticity resonated with her audience. Sophia's unique voice, her keen eye for fashion, and her relentless hustle led to the meteoric rise of Nasty Gal. Sophia's determination and unique approach to business led to the rapid success of Nasty Gal, which became a fashion powerhouse. Her story is a testament to the power of self-belief, hard work, and the courage to take risks. It is a reminder that success is not handed to us. We have to build it, brick by brick, with our own two hands.
Chapter 3 of Hash Girl Boss explores the ups and downs of Sophia's entrepreneurial journey. The path to success, as we all know, is not a straight line. It's a winding road filled with potholes, detours, and sometimes dead ends. Sophia's journey was no different. Sophia faced a myriad of challenges as she expanded her business. From inventory issues to dealing with customer complaints, from the stress of keeping up with the fast-paced fashion industry, to the pressure of maintaining a rapidly growing company, the problems were aplenty. There were times when she felt like she was in over her head, with problems piling up faster than she could handle them. One of the major setbacks was the lawsuit she faced from Chanel for selling counterfeit items. This was a hard blow, not just financially, but also to Sophia's reputation and the credibility of Nasty Gal. It was a time of intense struggle, but it was also a time of learning. However, the setbacks didn't deter Sophia. Instead, they fueled her. She learned from her mistakes and used them as stepping stones to reach greater heights. She developed a keen eye for identifying genuine products, implemented stringent quality checks, and built a team that shared her vision and values. Sophia's resilience was remarkable. She didn't let failures define her. Instead, she embraced them, learned from them, and used them to her advantage. She understood that every setback was an opportunity to come back stronger. This resilience, this ability to bounce back from failures, is what makes Sophia a true hash girl boss. She didn't just survive the ups and downs, she thrived amidst them. She turned Nasty Gal into a multi-million dollar business and became an inspiration for young women everywhere. Sophia's journey is a testament to the power of resilience and the importance of learning from our mistakes. Despite the challenges, Sophia remained resilient, constantly learning and adapting, which is a key message in Hash Girl Boss. The final chapter of Hash Girl Boss delivers Sophia's lessons and advice for young women looking to succeed in business and life. In this enlightening chapter, Sophia Amoruso opens up her treasure trove of wisdom, sharing invaluable lessons drawn from her own journey. She doesn't sugarcoat the realities of entrepreneurship or promise an easy path. Instead, she emphasizes the importance of authenticity, creativity, and determination. Sophia's first lesson is about authenticity. She believes in the power of being true to oneself, saying that authenticity is your most valuable commodity. In a world that often rewards conformity, Sophia urges us to embrace our quirks, our flaws, and our passions. She encourages us to let our true selves shine, both in our personal lives and in our professional pursuits, asserting that uniqueness is the secret source of success. Next, Sophia underscores the significance of creativity. She champions the idea that innovative thinking is the fuel that keeps the engine of business running. Sophia's own success story is a testament to this. She built Nasty Gal by thinking outside the box, by challenging the status quo, and by daring to be different. She encourages us to tap into our creative resources, to take risks, and to not be afraid of making mistakes, because in her words, they are the stepping stones to greatness. Lastly, Sophia talks about determination. She stresses that there will be bumps and even mountains on the road to success. There will be failures and setbacks, but what matters is our ability to get up, dust off and keep moving forward. She inspires us to stay determined, to stay committed and to stay focused on our goals, no matter how challenging the journey may become. Sophia's advice for young women aspiring to be entrepreneurs is simple yet profound. She tells us to be bold, to be brave and to believe in ourselves. She reminds us that success is not handed to us on a silver platter, but is earned through hard work, persistence and resilience. Sophia's story is a testament to the power of resilience, creativity and authenticity, inspiring countless women to chase their dreams. As we come to the end of our discussion on Hash Girl Boss, let's summarize the key points we've covered today. We began with Sophia's early days, starting an eBay store from scratch, a testament to her entrepreneurial spirit. Her tenacity and innovative mindset drove her to cultivate a unique brand, leading to the birth of Nasty Gal, an iconic fashion empire. We saw the significance of creating a distinct identity, a lesson that rings true for all aspiring entrepreneurs. Next, we delved into the growth of Nasty Gal, a journey marked by hard work, dedication and sheer willpower. 
It's a story of building something from nothing, a narrative that inspires us to dream big and chase those dreams relentlessly. We also discuss the inevitable challenges Sophia faced, the ups and downs that come with running a business. From financial struggles to personal setbacks, her story taught us the importance of resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity. Lastly, we touched upon the invaluable lessons Sophia shared in her book. She emphasized authenticity, the power of being true to oneself, and the significance of learning from failures. She showed us that success is not a straight road, but a path filled with obstacles that serve as stepping stones towards growth. The story of Sofia Amoruso's rise to success serves as a powerful reminder that with determination, creativity, and authenticity, anyone can become a hash girl boss.